Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. On today's episode, I will be doing a cabin crew makeup tutorial. Yes, I know I've already done one in the past, but uh, I've just been receiving a lot of comments and messages from every, I, I don't know, from girls who are not from the Philippines asking me to do the video in English or to add subtitles to my previous video but hey I decided to make another one another cabin crew makeup tutorial with a different look compared to the last one I have done because oh my god girls you're sometimes you get too intense and you send me messages and you're telling me what language is she talking um, I can't understand or or whatever no hard feelings I completely understand that of course you went through YouTube you searched for videos and you want to learn that's why here you go I'm gonna be teaching you how to do a cabin crew makeup in full English now some of you are worried because you don't have the skills to apply the correct makeup how to do your eyeshadow and everything don't worry about it because as I have said before when you go for your interview they're not looking for makeup artists or somebody who does their makeup really 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 well because even though that's the first thing that they're gonna see at the end of the day they're not there to hire somebody who's who does their makeup really well so it's okay if you can only do basic makeup that's why I, I'm here right now to teach you how to best accentuate the beauty of your face while uh, maintaining the professional look because cabin crew makeup or interview makeup for that matter in general when you're going for interview it's not the same makeup that you would wear when you're going for a party or going to an event or whatever because it just has to look neat that's the that's the basic rule of thumb here your makeup your hair your grooming it has to be neat so having said all that let's get started after I posted the first video of the cabin crew makeup tutorial a lot of you girls I started sending me messages asking me about the hair product that I use to keep my baby hair tame, like to keep everything just sleek and neat. Okay, I'll be posting the picture right here. It's called L'Oreal El Viv, but I don't have it right now and I'm not going to be using that on this video because really you can use any hair product that you can get your hands on, any hair cream or hair wax or whatever. But like what I said in my previous video, I try to uh, uh, stay away from using hairsprays because it really damages your hair. Once in a while, it's fine if you're going for your interview and all. But of course, once you start flying and you have to wash your hair every day, it's really gonna damage your hair. It's gonna make it dry. So I started using more of hair cream that has treatment with it as well. And that's what LV has. But for the sake of this video, since I don't have my L'Oreal LV hair cream with me here in the Philippines, I'll be using hair wax. And this is from Bench. Um, before I started uh, using L'Oreal, this is the one that I have been using because it's not too drying. So let me just tie up my hair in a ponytail. I'll apply a little bit of the product. Maybe just a little bit, just like this. Rub it with my fingers like this. And I just put it on the top. Like that. Don't worry if it's too white. It's fine because once you start combing, and then I put it here as well, under, where all my baby hair starts to stand up when uh, it gets hotter. Yeah, so I'm just tie the hair. So as you can see, the white residue is already gone, and you get that nice shine. One more question that I have received from you guys is that what was the hair tool that I used to put my hair in a bun? And uh, on my previous video, I kept on calling it that bendy bendy thing. But anyway, I found online that this one is called the hair bun tool. This one, I got it from a mall here in the Philippines. Um, I've seen this as well in Ulta in US. But I've tried searching for it online and yes, you can purchase it and um, purchase one. From Amazon or any online uh, beauty store so how you use this it's it's very simple you get your ponytail like this and then you close it I don't know if you can see and then you start rolling it's okay if some of the hair keeps falling because you can just simply grab that and put it in so and then continue to twist I don't know if you guys can see but this one is very easy to use and I prefer using this compared to a donut 
because I don't know my hair just looks better after I I remove this tool compared to a donut so just like that and then you bend it together and do that so now your hair is in a bun um, I wish it looked better but you can put a hairnet on top of that just to uh, make it look neater so now it's done our my hair is in a bun it doesn't look as good as it should be because I'm supposed to use a hairnet to put on top of it just remember that you're not limited to this hairstyle you can always put your hair in a French twist or if you have short hair you can put an Alice band or just neatly tuck your hair behind your ear now that we're done with our hair it's neat and in place we can start with our makeup like what I have mentioned in my previous videos, I start off with my makeup by correcting my under eye circle and proceeding with my foundation. So I start applying my color corrector and as you can see there's already a difference. Of course, you don't want to go to your interview with your dark circles and everything so you just conceal everything. Once you start flying, it's going to be very hard for you to get some sleep or sometimes you won't even get any sleep at all so it's very hard to prevent getting dark circles especially for me because it's natural for me to have dark circles ever since i was small it's been like this so concealer is really my best friend after applying my color corrector i'll be using concealer and this one is from tarte for today's video i will be applying two shades one is light neutral and the other one is light room we will be combining these two shades because my dark circles are just so crazy right now uh, I don't know if it's because of the pregnancy but my circles are just unacceptable so I start by applying the light neutral shade because it's a little bit darker than the light uh, shade from Tarte Shape Tape so I'll apply it like so and then I'll just blend this one with a flat brush so now I'm going to go ahead with the second layer of concealer and again this one is from Tarte Shape Tape and this is the shade Light and I'm going to be using it to highlight the under eye, the bridge of the nose and the forehead and a little bit on the... This time we're going to blend this using a sponge. Now that I'm happy with how I concealed my under eye circles, I'm going to go ahead with the foundation. When you're choosing your foundation, especially when you're going for your interview or anywhere for that matter, you have to make sure that it's the correct shade for you. You don't want to use a shade that's too dark for you or too light. And make sure that when you apply your foundation, it has to be matching with your neck because you don't want to seem like you have a mask on. So for today's video, I'm going to be using my ever-reliable Fenty Beauty. When you're going for an interview for, for a flight, it's very important that you use a foundation that will last the whole day because you don't want your makeup melting by the time that you reach your interview, right? Pumps of this foundation and apply that all over my face. After applying the foundation, again, I'm going to blend that using a sponge. blending out our foundation it's very important for you to set it so that you won't get any crease under your eye or the side of your nose or your forehead so for the setting of my foundation I'm gonna be using from Too Faced the primed and poreless and I'm just gonna grab a small setting brush and dab it over my under eye actually this is my favorite setting powder because it just keeps everything in place it's white as you can see but it doesn't leave a white cast over your face now I'm done with my foundation I'm gonna start with my eyebrows and I'm gonna be using my ever reliable Intuit waterproof eyebrow color uh, for this one this is powder but I like to use it together with the uh, Mac prep and prime fix plus so I'll just spray a little bit wet my angled brush with this pulley on the other end and I start doing my eyebrows. So 
So as you can see, I didn't really go very, very defined on my eyebrows because I just want to go for that natural soft look. If I make it too dark, it's gonna make my face, like my the expression of my face too harsh and you want to come off as friendly as well when you're going for your interview or going for your flight. Now we're gonna start with the eyes. One of the common questions I have been receiving as well is what eyeshadow color should I use? Should I go for metallics or mattes or browns, blues? Is it okay to wear uh, bright eyeshadows? My tip for you is when you're going for your interview or going for a flight, it's is to just go neutral. Go for the earth colors like browns, um, grays. If you're gonna use black, you have to be very careful. You have to be very light-handed when you're using black color because you don't want to go for your interview looking like you, you know, looking like a raccoon or look, you know, going for that extreme smoky uh, black eyeshadow look. So my suggestion is to go for more of the taupe colors, gray, browns, and that's what I'm going to be doing for today. It's going to be very simple. I'm just going to be using two colors for today just to make it easy for everybody. The first one I'm going to be using is this one right here. And just a little bit of highlight, I guess, this one right here. So I'll just grab my brush and dab it over the first shade, which is brown. Tap the excess. And then put that over the crease. I think this is one of the easiest eyeshadow techniques and I've already mentioned this in my other video. Like what I said in my previous video, when you're going for your interview, you don't want to scare your recruiters or the interviewers. So just, you know, you apply makeup to accentuate your features and not to, uh, you know, scare anybody when you're going for the interview. So just try to go as natural as you can. So now that's blended, we're going to go ahead with our highlight for the brows. See, it's very simple, but you can see that it has already given the, your eye the lifted, lifted look. For the highlight, I try to, uh, like, I lean towards using more of the blush color highlights for, for my eyeshadow. So that's what I'm going to be using as well. So I'll just put that over the brow bone. You can also get a smaller brush, get the same brown color and apply that on your lower lash. Flip your brush, get the highlighter that you use for your brow bone, and then apply it over here. Now eyeshadow is done, you can even go for an eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner or a pencil eyeliner. My current favorite for a liquid eyeliner is the one from Intuit and this one is a hairbrush eyeliner pen. I just love using hairbrush liners because of the control that you get once you if you want to get that cat eye look. So I just start off with the inner corner and then go slowly and then flick. What I love about this eyeliner is that it stays on the whole day. Of course, after the eyeliner, the most important thing is your mascara. Love waterproof mascara and volumizing mascara because my lashes are medium. Like, they're not too short, they're not too long, but I don't have a lot. So when I go looking for a mascara, I look for volumizing and lengthening mascara. So this one is Heroin Make. I got this from Hong Kong. So yeah, I'm just gonna start curling my lashes. Just make sure that you're eyeliner has already dried up before you curl your lashes. I think everybody knows how to apply their mascara. Like what I said before, I have a love-hate relationship with mascara because sometimes I'm too careless and it just goes all over. So just look down, wiggle your brush, and then pull up. So mascara is done. You can keep applying mascara until you get the desired um, volume or thickness that you want. So you let that dry. And now we're going to start with contouring our face. So for the contour and the blush, I'm going to be using Natural Face from Too Faced. So this is a highlight brush, uh, highlight blush and bronzing veil face palette. To contour my face, I'm going to be using this one right here. It's called the shade Sunny Honey. Just dab a little bit uh, and go for it. Start contouring. Just very mildly. You don't want to go like... Kim Kardashian uh, contoured on your interview or for your flight because 
let's admit it, contoured face looks really nice on photo, but sometimes when you fully contour your face, in person it looks too harsh. Be very light-handed in this one, just to give your face enough definition. Hmm? You can also go over your forehead. I'm a little bit on the sides of my jaw. What I learned as well is that when you tend to apply more makeup on your face, more foundation, more concealer, it just ends up making all your all the things that you want to hide more visible. Like for example, you're too conscious of the pores that you have on your face. So you're what you're thinking is that, oh, I'm going to apply more foundation or more concealer, more powder, just to make it, you know, less visible. But the thing is, as the day goes on, with the heat, the temperature, and everything, the makeup tends to cake. So they end up settling on those pores or those lines, and you don't want that. So you just go very, very easy on your makeup. Don't put too much. Because sometimes it's a problem, we don't know when to stop. So look at the mirror, and if you think that, oh, oh my god, it's getting too thick, okay, that's the time for you to stop applying your makeup. Now for the blush, I've been receiving messages asking me which shade should I use, okay? It all depends on your skin tone. I cannot tell you that for my skin tone, I prefer using pink, so you should use pink. You need to experiment what looks good on you. I'm going to be using a combination of pink quink because I feel like it's too pink. It's very bright. And I'm going to mix this with pink sand right here. So just dab it there and here and then blend it out. There. And now we have a pop of color. I'm not so pale anymore. Now for my favorite part, the highlight. Um, there was one video that I made. I forgot which one. But I received a lot of messages complimenting me about the highlighter that I used. So that highlighter is the one from Becca. It's uh, the shade Opal. And that's what I'm going to be using today. I just feel like it's... This highlighter is like blinding, I swear. And in person, your skin looks flawless. It looks like you don't have pores because it just keeps on reflecting the light. So I'm going to use the same brush and apply that here, going to the apples of my cheeks. I can never get enough of this highlighter. I just love it so much. There you go. Oh my god, can you see that? It's super highlighted. Like the light is bouncing off my face. There. And now I'm gonna put a little bit here as well on my forehead. And it's this one. It's the Duo. The Kilowatt uh, Duo Highlighter in um, Mean Honey. Like this one. This one. I'm just gonna use my finger and put it here, tip of my nose, to make it look like it's pointed and at the bridge to make it seem like I have a high bridge nose there you go even this one is really nice the one from Fenty I love this highlighter as well and we're almost done so now another question I have been receiving which lipstick color should I use when uh, when I'm going for my interview or is there a requirement for the lipstick color when you're going for your interview? Is it okay to wear nude or is it okay to wear very red or pink color? For me, it really depends on the look that you want to go for. For lipstick colors, I would really say it depends on which airline you're applying for. Like let's say you're going for Asiana Airlines yeah, and they prefer their crew to wear more neutral colors almost nude almost uh, no makeup makeup look something like that so I would suggest going for a more beige or uh, just a gloss a little bit of pink on your lip whereas when you're going for Qatar Airways Etihad Emirates or even Saudia you can even go for burgundy colors like this or a bright red like this but I believe for Emirates they prefer a brighter red than this that I 
I don't have it with me right now but that one is Sephora number one and for Etihad I think this color will be acceptable for them so it really depends on the airline for local airlines nowadays um, Cebu Pacific I think prefers nude lipstick I'm not sure but you can go ahead and look at the photos and this is what I have noticed they prefer nude colors I think Philippine Airlines is okay with um, pink colors like this, red. Since on my previous video, I used a very intense red. I think on that video, I used Kat Von D in the shade Nosferatu combined with uh, Sephora number no. 1. That's already red. So I'm going to opt for a different color for today. So I'm going to show you that it's also okay to use a lighter shade of pink like so. So let's start applying this one. This is one of my favorite um, shades. Actually, these three are my go-to colors. This one is a bit of a bright red. This one is a burgundy. Like if I use this, it's like really intense. And I've used this in my previous videos as well. And this one, it gives me that very youthful glow. Ever since I changed to the gray uniform, I feel like wearing red in that uniform makes me look a bit older. So. Just to get that youthful glow back, I prefer using a pink like this or something even brighter like this. This one is um, number 9, I guess, and this one is number 57 from Sephora. If it's not obvious yet, yes, Sephora is my favorite lipstick brand. And I really love their cream lip stain because it really stays even um, after I eat, it's still there. So now let's apply this shade. This is sort of an old rose color. I don't know. I think I've mentioned it before. I don't really like using lip pencils. So this one is like super easy for me with this dope foot applicator right here. It's small and the, the shape is really good when it comes to uh, getting to those corners of your lips. Here you go. If you want, you can even apply a second coat just to make it intense. So that, there you go. I'm using pink right now uh, just to uh, show everybody that yes, you can use a pink lipstick when you're going for your interview. If you want, you can even put gloss on top, but I hate wearing gloss because when you have your scarf on and then it starts flying, it's, gonna, it's just going to get stuck on your lips. And everything is just messy and you get streaks of lines here so I prefer my lipstick matte and there you go my cabin crew makeup is already done um, like what I said this is the kind of makeup that I would usually wear when I'm going for my flights if I'm not lazy because I applied eyeshadow I can go extra on a, on a day where I have more time but on a medium day this is how I would usually wear my makeup it's very easy you can wear this kind of makeup when you're going for your interview because it's neutral, it looks professional. You don't look like you're gonna go for a party or, you know, going for club hopping or whatever. It just looks neat. And for me, that's the key point when you're going for an interview or going for a flight. You have to look neat and sharp. So, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like what I said in the beginning, uh, I made this video in full English because you girls, it's like you want to eat me because my previous video was not in full English and I understand because it tends to get confusing that I speak in English and then suddenly I speak in my own language. It's just that I started doing that video when, uh, when I was new to vlogging and I didn't think that I would be reaching, um, girls from all over the world. That's why it was in, uh, English and Filipino so for if those of you who are asking what language is that that's Filipino so now this is for everybody I hope you enjoyed watching this video I hope I managed to teach you and I hope I was able to answer the questions that you uh, that some of you sent me through Instagram or through the comments if you have any more questions about more um, makeup about cabin crew makeup uh, what's acceptable what's not that's not been addressed in this video Feel free to hit me up again on my Instagram and I will try my best to answer because the questions are just piling up and I'm trying to uh, go through them. But sometimes it's just too much. I cannot answer everybody's question. So please be patient if I don't get to uh, reply immediately uh, to your messages. I will try my best. So as always, if you have enjoyed this video, feel free to share this with your friends who are 
you know, desiring to become a cabin crew because I'm sure that this video will help them out as well, like it helped you. If you uh, have any comments, feel free to uh, mention that in the comment section as well. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so that you will get updated once I release new videos. And as always, this has been Days with God. I'll see you next time. Bye!